Hi, this is Vasudevan, father of two lovely boys, married to an awesome wife, corporate professional turned author and dream coach, founder of Morpheus Inc., a transformation company on a mission to help 10,000 people live a life of choices than being a victim of circumstances. This is the second video on my series of happiness, which is an extract from my Amazon bestseller, Follow Your Heart, Your Brain is Stupid. In this video, I'm going to cover one of the reasons that impacts our happiness. You spend too much time on social media. What do you do when you're on social media, on, on Facebook or uh, WhatsApp or Snapchat or Instagram? You stalk other people who showcase how amazing their life is. Now, you have to understand that um, social media is, is a curated environment where people showcase uh, what they want to, only the best parts of their life. You seldom see the, the struggles, the pain, the sleepless nights or the depressions or the challenges that they face. Nobody wants to be seen as vulnerable. So they only choose to showcase their happiness, their uh, successes, etc. And uh, you watch them and uh, you start believing that that's all there is to their life. You compare your life with their life and uh, start feeling unhappy. Consciously or unconsciously, this happens. And I remember uh, a, a couple of years ago that whenever I would see some friends or uh, some um, my neighbors going on a holiday some, to some location which I wanted to visit, I would start feeling unhappy. I would start feeling, you know, they are enjoying and I'm not able to, I've not yet gone to that place. This happens with most of us. Let me illustrate this with uh, a beautiful story. There was a crow which was extremely happy with its life until it saw a swan. It, it told itself, look at the swan, it's so white whereas I'm so black. So I'm sure the swan must be much more happy than me. It went to the swan and, and said, dear swan, you, are, you look so beautiful. I'm sure you must be the happiest bird on this planet. The swan said, Yes, I was very, very happy until I saw the parrot. I have just one color and look at the parrot. It's, it's got two colors. It looks so beautiful and, and therefore the parrot must be the happiest bird, much happier than me. So the crow said, let me talk to the parrot. It went to the parrot and uh, told the parrot, dear parrot, I'm sure you must be the happiest bird on this planet. Uh, you look so beautiful. The parrot said, um, yes, I was very happy until I saw a peacock. And there, that time onwards, I started feeling unhappy because the peacock looks so much more beautiful than me. It's got so many different colors. I have just two colors. Then the crow said, let me go and talk to the uh, peacock. It went to the peacock, which was in a zoo. When it went there, the, the peacock was um, dancing to its glory. It was looking beautiful. There were hundreds of spectators watching the peacock. It waited for the, the spectators to move, uh, to move away and then uh, it approached the peacock and, and told the peacock, Dear peacock, you are so beautiful. I'm sure you must be really, really happy with your life. The peacock said, Yes, I was very happy. I used to feel very proud about my beauty. But it's because of my beauty that I am stuck in this cage in the zoo. And you know what, uh, when I looked around the zoo, I realized that it was only the crow that is not kept in a cage in the zoo. From that moment onwards, I started feeling very unhappy. I started wishing that I was a crow so that I had the freedom to roam around wherever I, would, I wanted to. You could tell me, which was the happiest bird? Was it the crow? Was it the swan, was it the parrot, or was it the peacock? Each of these birds had every reason to feel happy with, with their lives, but they chose to compare their lives with the other, with the other bird and started feeling unhappy. This is very true in our lives too. Even though we have lots of things going good in our life, we invariably, and when we watch, especially in social media, we, when we see other people's lives, 
uh, where people you know show their you know happy moments and uh, their achievements you start comparing yourself with them and start feeling unhappy i would like you to think about you know introspect on this i'm sure you will realize this and you and you will agree with me i hope you like my perspective so this vasudevan father of two lovely boys married to an awesome wife corporate professional turn author and dream coach founder of morphis inc a transformation company on a mission to help 10000 people live a life of choices see you in the next video where i will be covering reason number 2 that impacts our happiness bye for now